one of John Cage's most famous pieces in the kind of towards the end of his life was um, was a piece that he called Cheap Imitation. And it was called Cheap Imitation because he wanted to make um, he wanted to make a piece of music uh, based on a piece by Eric Satie called Socrat and he wanted to make some kind of arrangement of it, but because the piece was still in copyright, uh, he decided to to make a piece which reproduced or imitated the rhythmic structure of, of Socrat. So my cheap invitation would be based on my knowledge of John Cage and my very, very superficial absorption of Yucatan history. So the film is an attempt to to deal not with what I wanted to deal with initially, which is moving images of which we didn't really find very much in, um, in the film of Tekken, but with a combination of the process of photographic decay and self-destruction. So the first image I saw in the archivo was the trombone. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> so that's not a, that's not an invitation at all. But the basic the basic image that you retain from the end of the film, and I won't explain why, is that. So it, it's it's also a kind of homage to cinema in Merida. Uh, of which the only evidence I have is this particular image. There's a lot of unspoken and unthought through connections, which is why I like you know, making something that is very specific on the one hand and it's very open on the other hand. But it's, it's also very physical and very tactile because it started not with photographs in books, but photographs in my in my hand. And now photographs on the floor. Well that would certainly get the audience along, wouldn't it?